Hi guys, today we're making Kikoru Shinomiya's axe from Kaiju number 8 in 5 minutes. I'll take you through every step so even a beginner can make this. And if you're a beginner, I recommend playing through the video once before starting to get a feel for what we are doing. Alright, let's open Blender. First of all, set up the reference picture. Let's also select the image and turn down the opacity. We will start by making an outline around the axe. So click Shift A and add a curve. Now just start at the corner like this and start placing the curve around the axe. And when the outline is done like this, select the point, click Shift D to duplicate it and then just start extruding with E and align it with the edge. Now we're gonna convert this into a mesh. Click on Object, Convert, Mesh. First let's connect this edge into the outline. So select the vertice at the end and another vertice, click M and merge them together. Now let's fill it with geometry. I like to select edges by clicking C and using the circle selection to easily select all the edges. Now click F to fill it and let's do it with the rest too. And click F again. Now the axis is filled, let's add a mirror modifier. So go into modifiers, search for mirror and choose an axis that works. For me it's Z. Now go into edit mode and move the model a little bit from the center so we see that it's mirror and enable clipping. Now let's select the outline for both the blade and the rest. Click E to extrude and extrude into the center. Now select the blade's edge but make sure you're not selecting this part and move it all the way in like this. And let's dissolve these edges by selecting them, clicking X and choosing dissolve edges. And we see some issues here and that is because we have to connect these vertices. So select two vertices, click J to connect them and do this all the way up. And if you're enjoying this tutorial and you want more fast paced tutorials like this, click that subscribe button and I'll be posting videos every week. Click Shift A and add a new curve. Now let's make the outline of this handle part. Now select the points at the edges, click F to connect them. Then let's go into Object, Convert, Mesh, Open Edit Mode, select everything, click F. Move the face a little bit down, click E to extrude up. Now we can also make this smooth. So select both edges and click F3 to search for Shade Smooth. And let's also go into Modifiers and add Smooth by Angle modifier to both models. Now let's make all these holes around Around the axe and for these holes just add a circle and let's use six vertices scale it down rotate it into place like this and go into edit mode select it click shift D and let's just duplicate all of these and for these longer holes let's add a new circle let's have 12 vertices put it in the edge of the hole select these vertices click X and delete them and select the remaining vertices click shift D to copy them click S for scale X minus 1 to mirror them put it in the other side let's just connect these by selecting them and clicking F when all the holes are made go into edit mode and fill everything with faces select all of them go out of x-ray mode and extrude them with E, select the axe and add a boolean modifier. Then we can click here and choose booleans as our object. And now we can disable the booleans in the viewport. Now let's make this gray details on the inside. So select the mesh, go into edit mode, click K to enable knife tool and then just click with a knife tool to cut around the parts where we want the details. Select the face and extrude it out slightly. And now we see there are some bolts here. So let's make that. Make a circle. Let's do 16 vertices. Delete these two edges then connect these edges with F and fill them with faces extrude it out so let's just place it into position of all the bolts in the reference now let's look from the side select all bolts and extrude them out and let's make sure they are not flying above the surface so move them down a little bit let's make the last details so first click shift a and add a text element just write 03 and if you go into text settings click on the folder icon and I'm using the code mono regular font you can get that for free I have a link in the description now let's just rotate this and scale it down into position. Then click Shift D to copy it. And let's write AX0112. Now copy this again and let's make this smaller text. And here it says Izumo Tech. Also add a solidifier modifier to make it thicker. And to add the modifier to all the selected elements, click Control L and choose Copy Modifiers. And now for the last part, let's add some circles with only six vertices and place it here. Go into edit mode, click Shift D to copy them and let's put them into position here. Select all of them, go into here and let's choose individual origins. Click E to extrude and scale up to add some thickness to them. Now select all of them and extrude them up a little bit. Now let's work on materials. Enable render preview. Click this arrow down and disable scene light and scene world. This way we'll get some lights we can preview with. If we're getting this artifact, just go into edit mode, select everything, click M and choose merge by distance. Now go into materials on the axe, add three material slots, make a new material. Let's call this black, make it black, turn 
turn on metallic, turn the roughness down a little bit, click shift A and add a wave texture node, make the scale 100. Now add a color ramp node and connect the wave texture node into that one. Let's make the black brighter and let's make the white a little bit darker. Connect this into roughness and now we have some similar lines like the reference here. Then let's add a bevel node, turn the radius down to 0.01, connect this into normal. Now we will get some nice edge light here. Now click the second material slot, click new. Let's call this material brushed metal. Let's make this metallic and a little bit gray. Let's also add a bevel node here with the same setting. So let's add a new material. Let's just call this white and let's turn the roughness up a little bit. Now let's just apply the material to the right parts of the axe. So select the blade, brush metal, click assign. Let's do the same thing with the top here. Click brush metal and assign. Then let's select the handle. Click here to select the material. Choose brush metal on this one too. Do the same with the bolts. Select brush metal. Now select all these details here and choose the white material. Click Ctrl L and click link materials. And now you basically have Shinomiya's axe from Kaiju number eight in five minutes. If you go to the link in the description, you can download the project's file for free. And comment below if you want me to model something specific. Thanks for watching and see you next time.